So in The Sims 3, uh, every object can be customized uh, to some extent. Um, almost every object can be customized fully. Uh, you'll be able to match anything you want to anything else in your house. Uh, it was there was a lot of work put into making sure that that would uh, that, that would allow you to really set up any kind of house you wanted, the colors, uh, the materials that go on to the different pieces of furniture, or it, really anything in your house, um, and including you know what color your carpet is, what color your wallpaper is. Uh, it's there's been, there's been a lot of work to make sure that you will be able to, if you like uh, camouflage, if you like zebra prints, if you like anything, you will you will be able to take that and put it on any part of your house that you want. Uh, the system for customizing clothes will be the same system uh, for customizing objects. So you'll be able to move patterns around, um, change the different colors that are within all of those patterns, um, share them between all of the objects. It's a, it's a very integrated system to make it easy for players. The, the way the interactions and objects work is, is pretty much the same as Sims 2, um, but we have, uh, we've tried to make, uh, we've really tried to make them a little bit more fun, so each one is, has a little bit of a twist um, from, from Sims 2. Um, uh, we've, uh, we've added additional objects too, I mean, a lot of the open world uh, allows us to, to add things that we wouldn't normally add, so I mean, we have a lot of, uh, fishing is a big part of our game now, so going to lakes and actually being able to fish and get, you know, uh, I know that was that was added in an expansion pack in Sims 2, uh, but it's something you can do right off the bat, and going around the world and, and collecting those things is pretty fun. And every once in a while your Sim will not quite get the cast right and fall flat on his face. Um, so that's, we're keeping sort of that humor around as well. Um, we have, uh, we, but we've, we've tried to keep the focus, even though we have an open world now, we've been trying to keep the focus still on, the, you know, getting Sims 2 established so that we have a lot of the features that, that you guys are expecting to see there and, uh, and have new objects and interactions. I don't want to give everything away because there's still stuff that, um, that you're going to find surprising and I think that's what makes The Sims uh, quite addictive is finding those surprising things along the way. Uh, another thing that I really enjoy is the uh, the camera phone. Um, all Sims have a little cell phone and it's got a camera so they can take pictures all around the neighborhood to hang up in their house or they can actually go back home and paint them. So they've kind of memorized the scene and go paint a picture of it. So that's just some of the really cool stuff I like. So in The Sims 3 we've actually taken that one meter grid you have and broken it up into quarters so you can move things at half resolution. Um, so that means if you have a three tile couch, you can position a two tile TV in front of it perfectly, you can center them. Um, <laughs> in addition to that, we let you rotate objects at 45 degree angles now instead of 90 degree angles. Um, but for the experts out there, like you guys, uh, you can actually just hold uh, the alt key and then you can place things off the grid anywhere and rotate things at any angles at all. And uh, it all works. Um, and on top of that, we've actually added more uh, placement on surfaces for things. So. You don't have to exactly center a flower vase. Um, you can, you have lots of options for where you put them and you can put lots of things on surfaces so you can really decorate your house uh, any way you want it uh, a lot more fluidly. It's very cool.